All right, folks, so here we are again. Wow, a couple things I wanted to go over real quick and is to do with a camera, um, but I think it's pretty important if you're ever planning on doing your own streaming and whatnot. Now, if you noticed right now, I do have some blur in the background, that depth of field or field of depth. I'm, I've looked it up, it can go either way. But I'm using the phone and it still doesn't look the same as it does with a camera. Right now we're cropped at about a 24. I tried to get it a little bit wider. I had to pull it in, it's, it's tough. But I could have put a wide angle lens that I have for the phone on, but I decided against doing that this time. But what I wanna do is talk about a couple of items that I have. Now, obviously, everyone knows that I bought the new, a brand new camera. But, there's a few attachments that go with it, like one of them would be this, another one would be a dummy battery. This kinda, not kinda, but does get attached here because you can't reach the battery or open up the battery port or get to the card, period, when you have it on a tripod. It just not happening so it was kind of a maybe a slight design error but it's not a big deal so this comes in two pieces gets screwed on there I hope it's focusing in okay it's probably just focusing on my face again the camera flips out but we're not going over settings and this this is what I wanted to talk about for the camera the Sony ZV-1 it doesn't, and, and this is the first time you guys are going to see this in a video. I searched for hours. I searched high and low. I searched everywhere. I could not find a review on the newer, it's called newer, N-E-E-W-E-R attachment. It's a widescreen. And I have a Lanzi right here. And we're going to zoom in all this in a minute and I'm going to show you what it all consists of when we do an unboxing of the newer. And I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to go to the newer and check out what the video looks like versus how nice it was beautiful. I just don't like the way it was attached and you'll see that in a minute. Okay, so this is one of the things I wanted to talk about is this little fixture right here. Now, this is probably the perfect streamer's camera on off button, mode button, record button, and you can adjust all of these in custom settings. You zoom in and zoom out. This right here gives you your field of depth. You can go from a plain autofocus over to focused on the individual. You can also choose whether it's gonna choose a person or an animal. Pretty, pretty, um, pretty good stuff. It has another function mode, a menu button, this is the button you use for set. This is, I guess, a record button, trash can. You have a 3.5 in. You have USB if you wanna use USB video. I choose to use a, a capture card, uh, the Elgato capture card. Not, actually, it's not the card. It's the, um, the Cam Link 4K. And basically is the dummy battery feeds it power, mini HDMI, or is it micro? This is micro HDMI to a regular full size HDMI into the capture card, the cam link, which then goes into the computer. And it's all plug and play, and life is very, very easy. Okay, so why did I go from this? to this. Let me explain something. Beautiful picture. For one, this lens comes with a cover and it even comes with a cover for the back plate. Okay. Okay, now what I was explaining was it's a really nice kit. Comes with pretty much everything you could possibly use. 
The only, the only thing that I didn't like about it was the way it gets attached. And I used it, and it's on very good, actually. A lot better than I thought, but still just wasn't doing it for me. Basically, this little peel-off goes around here. It's actually, this comes with one already attached. I removed it, but you can see the line that you can follow. They pretty much do everything for you. Okay, so we're going to, what you do is you, the double-sided goes on here. This, you line up very carefully here. I'm not going to make it perfect because it doesn't need to be right now. This is a macro lens. If you take this off of this, and you want to zoom in on oh, 10x in on something like a raindrop on a leaf, you can get right in on it like crazy close, like um, not a 100x or a 1000x like a microscope, but it gives you a really clear, clean picture. I've used it, works awesome. And when you attach this, so you convert it, it's, it's funny, but yes, with this on, it goes from, from macro to widescreen, protective cover. So, I still wasn't fond about the way it attaches here. As you can see, I've seen a couple of videos that people were worried and a couple, one guy actually lost his lens. He was out in the heat, it warmed up, he obviously bumped it, pushed it with his hand accidentally, lost it. That's 60, 50, 60 bucks down the drain. So I was looking around and I couldn't find anything. Then all of a sudden, I came across this. And I'm gonna have to do my own review on it because I can't tell you anything about the picture quality for the reason that I couldn't find a single video out there on this. So it's my understanding that this video is probably gonna be the only video out there so far. Unless somebody can find one for me, I'll be happy. Send it over to me. I found the Wenner lenses for detachable lenses to get extra zoom, but none for this camera and no reviews on the quality of it. So here we are, we're opening up the box. This is pretty much what it looks like. HD wide, X75 for Sony, ZV-1 camera. It'll give you a wide screen from the 24 millimeter that it's in at 1080p to an 18, which is good because when you use 4K, you get a crop. I'm hoping to be able to get it at least in 4K instead of being cropped, at least getting it, it won't be 18, but it won't be 24. Maybe I'll be at 20, maybe about 21, I don't know. But I hope it's wider, and it will be. And the thing about getting the wideness is you get more, you get more area, but you get to keep the same picture. Like with the phone, when you tap on it and you zoom out, you're zooming the whole person out. <laughs> okay, well, so it comes with a little Allen key. Nicely packed. It feels like decent quality. What do we have? Okay. I'm gonna just put this stuff out. Woo! Okay, so I see. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen in a direction that's going to show you where to line it up, but it pretty much goes over. You tighten this down. I think it sounds better to me than double-sided tape. You tighten this down, and you got your lens. But let's take a look at what else is in here first. 
Oh, that's heavy. Okay, it comes with a little cleaning cloth. This is heavy. This sucker's heavy. What else do we have? Yeah, this looks like a bag to carry everything in. And that's it. So let me put this out of the way. Gotta try to keep your fingers off of all this stuff. If you get your fingers on it, clean it. Oh, nice. Okay, I already like it. I like this is a, this is a pain in the ass to screw on. The, the threads on this are like incredibly thin. I mean, it, you it, it's not easy to get on sometimes, especially if you're in a rush. Forget it. it ain't getting on quick. Okay, this is like a regular camera camera on off oh wow beautiful well I actually oh I see okay it's got to go on a certain way but we're going to keep it off for now so this goes here very fine threads again on the back but the thing is is once it's on it's on so I take it yes so we're looking at almost the same thing rear cover rear cover just no plate to stick it to macro lens widescreen body the body replaces this nice so what i'm going to have to do seeing you are the first people witnessing this yeah right um i actually got to take a look at things because i haven't even checked out the directions on how to put this together other than i can already tell that this is going on this and it's all gonna this has a tube yes this has a tube inside a telescoping tube and it'll slide in and out so we'll see how it goes okay so we're back and that was really really like it took me one second to look at it and figure out how this works you have a pin you press it in just like a real camera camera lens look at that awesome okay this is sweet this is like totally sweet really i am so psyched to try i just hope it gives a nice full picture so i'm hoping that this slides on let's loosen it up a little bit I'm, hope, I'm hoping it slides all the way down to the body because it obviously sits. It has little pads that lifts it just enough so this can go in and out. And when we test it, I'll tell you if it looks identical, worse, or the same quality picture, which was excellent with the Alonzi. I would have been perfectly happy with the Alonzi if it was on attached a different way. I just wasn't thrilled with the way it went on. So what you want to do is the red dot is always should be off when you're looking at the camera is normally always off to the left a little bit look it even leaves your indicator light on so we're going to go right in the middle tighten this baby down yeah it does fit nice on there okay now i'm getting a little snugness no movement i imagine it's what it's supposed to be the newer is right at the top. 
all little indications of where it should be. Okay, now I don't want to go crazy with this yet. All right, so doesn't that look nice? So what we're going to do is test it real quick. If I did this right, and I hope I did, when this lens, it's probably not even going to work yet, because I think, ah, good Lord, oh my God, yeah, okay, I think, yes, it's in there, all right, the telescope, and see what happens now, it pops out, all right, beautiful, I do like it. How does it pop? Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Now that we're back, I wanted to look at this a little bit first to make sense of it. You have three little, three little tabs right here. Excuse me, excuse my French. I imagine they line up with the indents. Push the button in, twist, snaps in like a regular camera. The macro lens would obviously go on first. Wow, this goes on so much smoother than the other one. Sorry, Alonzo, you got beautiful glass. But I think you ought to reevaluate the way you stick it onto the lens. And I just think it looks better. Oh, look at so much. And it's the same thread. It just must be finer. So we have macro and wide. Wow, I think that looks really really good now that hopefully it works this should slide out look at that oh it even has a picture look oh no look at what i made you um it's clean hdmi out which means it won't see this is what it is great about this camera Oops, I turned it off. Okay. Now it shuts itself off. Back to screen. Nope. Okay, so that's just a spring. Didn't make a difference in the size. Beauty. Nice. All four corners. You can see, watch. Isn't that awesome? Smooth, smooth. I do like it. Okay, now that we've seen how this is all done, and it just looks so much more normal than the other one did. Wow. I gotta give them credit. They, they hit it right on the money. Again, the Alonzi is a beautiful, beautiful. This one is gonna cost you around 100 US dollars. This one's gonna cost you about 50. Obviously, you know why? You can see this one has more of a body to it. All right, so we're going to wrap this video up here. And next time we see some video, video, video shooting, maybe even come and join me in my stream.